welcome to my YouTube channel. So tonight's tutorial, um, I had published a photograph the other week which I made as a triptych and I've been asked how did I actually do that. So tonight I've made a really quick tutorial on how to create a triptych in Photoshop. It's actually quite an easy process the way that I'm about to show you. So hopefully you enjoy it and I'll hand you over to the tutorial now. Take this image and let me quickly show you how we can split this image into three separate images to make up a triptych. So first of all in Photoshop if we select view and then new guide layout and then what you'll see here if I move this over a wee bit what you'll see here is you can change the number of columns you can have eight columns if you want you can have two columns or you can have one column so I'm going to split that back to three because our triptych is three and you can also select rows and you can create any number of rows that you wish so again one two three um, one if I go back to zero turn off the rows and we'll concentrate on the columns just now so what I also want to do now is I need something to copy these images to so if I go file new and what I'll do is I'll create a larger canvas so I've got 8000 by 6000 pixels at 300 dpi and a new canvas and that'll all become apparent as I show you what we're doing so if we select the marquee tool and we drag within the boundary of the guides just there highlighted and it would be control C on a PC command C on a Mac switch to the untitled window and do control V or command C and then if I just drag that over a little bit go back in to my other window select the marquee if I do control D that gets rid of the marching ants select the marquee tool again left click and drag the mouse inside the lines that selects it control C or command C if it's a Mac switch to the new window control V or command V and then just move that over go back into the new window control D or command D removes the marching ants select the mark using the marquee tool again the third pane again control C or command C switch to the new window control V or command C A V and now all we need to do now is move the images and space the images to the way you want it and what suits your eye again so that's us now got the three images positioned so if I highlight those three images and then if I go into layer merge visible now what we want to do is you can either put a title on this so if I selected text and I could add I could actually reduce that font first so if I do loch arclet and then if I change the font because that's not really suitable for that type of image and then if I change the font to something I'll say Arial uh, no that's not very nice either so if I select just normal Arial then if I reduce that font to 24 you can start to add titles to these triptychs if that's what you want but I'm going to delete the title at the moment but what I'll focus on is doing a crop so that's a 16 by 9 crop and it's actually centered it for me so what I can do is if I select clear I can then just pull in the edges just so that I've got the same distance all the way around now I'm using a white background you 
could use any colour background you want to superimpose your copy and paste your images onto. So you could have a black background, you could have a white background, it's really your own preference. And then when it comes to saving, we'll just do File, um, Save As, and then what I'll do here is Test, Test Image. Embedded, I've selected um, sRGB and it's a JPEG. I'll save it as a full image 13.9 meg. And there we have the triptych. So, this is your before image. So, if I go into view and just clear the guides, and if I select, there we go. So, we've got our complete image and that's our triptych so that's how quick and easy it is to create a very simplistic way of generating a triptych in photoshop well i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and i hope that gave you quite a quick insight in how to create a triptych very quickly using photoshop so if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed, please do, because it's free. And if you press the bell notification, that'll update you the next time I post a video. So thank you, and here's to the next video.